All right, you guys. Rianne, I'm going to rely on you to um, text to Facebook message me if we are live in the group. Would appreciate knowing that. And Don, I think you're just going to have to go to the group and watch it and comment along. And then if you are going to you, because I can see your video, and I'm sure you don't want that on at the moment. All right, so Rihanna's saying hello, so we can see everybody. Uh, basically, consultants, when you're, it's your turn to jump in, you can just come in and jump in the room and say that it's okay, because we are broadcasting live, they want our permission. But for the rest of you, welcome, welcome. Um, okay, so Rihanna, can you post the link in the Beehive group, because Twyla's saying she can't get in. So the whole idea is that I hope I'm broadcasting live in the actual group, because the event is pretty limited. Uh, might be, and you actually could post it in both places. The the URL, you got that, Rihanna? <laughs> Hi, Audrey. I'm trying here. I'm trying so to I do think, a couple things. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Um, Ty, welcome, Twyla, and I see some more comments below. Welcome, welcome to um, I don't even know if it's sixth or seventh episode of Live at the Hive, but here today, um, I'm in my laundry room. I want you to type in the comments below where you're coming from. Remember, this whole game is about typing in the comments, so say where you're from, and make sure you say on time. So on time from Pincher Creek, wherever you are. Hi, Rebecca. This is kind of cool. I like this. I can see who's coming on, but hopefully not too distracting to me. So um, Rihanna is helping us out on the other end, trying to make sure you guys all have the link. Um, let's see. I'm just going to forward this one to Twyla, who can't get in. Can you send one to Twyla, please? On time. So on time, where you're from would be awesome. And I'm here tonight to not take too much of your time. Let's see here. Okay, welcome, welcome, everybody. So appreciate it. You know that this group is all about all things eco-friendly and that we can always have questions and we can always learn more from one another. So I thank you for all being here. If you're joining us late, just hashtag replay because we, we all want to know how that's going down. Rihanna, thumbs up. We're, we're broadcasting okay and all. Awesome. All right, so... If by the end of this you think that you want to give um, some of this a try, you can just message your consultant that invited you here. But also, if you think that this uh, detergent is something out of this world and you want a sample, stay tuned till the end. Remember, if you want to win your prizes, to be comment on time for those that are just joining, on time and stay to the end, and then you will be part of it. For any consultants joining in on the rooms, you, you can turn your video on or off, whatever works for you. We should be live in the actual group. So um, let's get started. Rihanna's going to start a timer so that um, I get shut off at 10 minutes and we do a prize draw at that time. So the more you comment along, the more chances of winning a prize tonight. My name is Rena Roth and I've been a consultant for almost seven and a half years. Uh, there, I thought there was going to be um, lots of consultants not able to join us in their laundry rooms tonight. Maybe they just didn't want to share their dirty laundry rooms. I'm not sure. But we do have busy lives. And one thing I do know that um, when I was introduced to Norwex, I know that it was a lifesaver when um, I was running around after kids for those quick spills, mess ups and stuff like that. And so Norwex can be really beneficial for those that have busy lives. And lots of our consultants here can maybe attest to that. Uh, cleaning supplies delivered to your door. Put in the comments below, what do you like delivered to your door? Do you like jewelry delivered to your door? Do you like clothing delivered to your door? Who here has had groceries delivered to your door? I honestly haven't tried that yet. There was one time I tried an Uber, an Uber Eats, but that was it. So what do you like delivered to your door? Personally, I like cleaning supplies. The neighbor just asked me, so any more packages coming this weekend when you're gone? And I said, I don't know, maybe, because we even have things like auto ship. So if you just want it, you know how much detergent you go through or how much um, of any of our consumable products you go through, you can actually just sign up and for our auto ship program and, and save 10%, which pretty much pays for the shipping. So just so you know that, um, we have that feature in place. And delivery to your door, I have a consultant, um, I was talking to her the other day, and she said, 
Oh yeah. Like this stuff delivered to your door saves having to haul the kids out to the department stores and who wants to be going there those days. So comment below your favorite thing to go to have delivered to your door and Rihanna's watching for those comments. All right. So uh, our mission is to radically reduce the use of chemicals in our homes. And when we are using things over and over again, instead of using paper towel, we're going to use counter cloths. Instead of using um, old rags or something, or sorry, I'm thinking of dishcloths. You know the dishcloths that are disposable you can throw away? All those things you can buy as disposables and throw them away, but that's just cash in the trash. Would you agree? Now think about that. Like what would our ancestors or grandmas say? What, what would we be throwing away today that they would just cringe about throwing away, right? We have so many one-time dis, um, disposables in our house and we're just tossing them away. Next, 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 because it's easier than pulling out this. Like whose grandma used like old socks to clean things? Whose grandma like ripped up sheets? Um, what did they use for those, um, those, for the cloths and cleaning that they used to do? Um, back in the day, they used whatever they had, whatever that was resourceful to them. I'm not reading the comments. Rihanna's taking care of that. But we know if we, they used to use reusables. We tended to be a throwaway society. But now I think we're turning back to being more conscientious of our environment. But the thing is, when you're starting to use these products in your home, then you have to wash them, right? So... That's what tonight is about. Care of your microfiber. Who's excited? Hands up. Give me some emojis. I got to see some dancing and some action. All right. So if you're going to be getting these adorable, lovely cloths, right? Who has the hedgehog? Did anybody put this on their wish list? The viral cloth, window cloth. Isn't it super, super cute? Well, if you're going to invest into these cloths, you're going to get two-year warranty out of them, which you're going to get tons of mileage. But you want to invest protect this investment. What do you guys think? You want to protect this. And you also know that our cloths are split one in 200, so they can effectively remove everything from the surface. Think about that, everything. They just don't smear it around. Smear, is that a word? Hands up, who uses smear? They don't just smear it around. They effectively remove 99% of the bacteria from your surfaces. So you're gonna to want to clean them. You're gonna to want to open up those fibers to release those particles that it's picked up. So we have the detergent to do that. We recommend our detergent because it is super clear. Nothing is going to clog those fibers. And you also don't wanna use anything that has a film over top of, or that gives the pods, okay? I'm just gonna say the word. I'm not supposed to say the brand, but I'm gonna say the word pods. They're so convenient and they are, but that film around it actually gets in your washing machine. You guys were talking about stinky washing machines. I'm only going top load, not front load. It's because um, our detergents tend to gum up our machines. They actually reduce the life expectancy of our machines. So there's your first tip of the night. Stick with our detergent. It protects your investment. But it also doesn't coat our fibers because our fibers, all right, challenge question right now, put in the comments below, what um, is in our fibers that we need to protect? What do we not want to coat? So if we have these microfibers, like little finger-like projections, and we coat them, we are then covering up the silver. We're uh, inhibiting that silver to um, stop the to, to work, right? So when we wet our cloth, it activates the silver ions, which kill any bacteria that you've picked up and removed. It's a super cool concept. It's so easy. Just the water itself will, will do that. So we don't we want to use a detergent that protects our investment. Now our detergent does a lot, okay? It um you can use one detergent in your household. This bag of detergent, by the way, on sale, in case I forget later, um, eight dollars for half a bag. But this bag of detergent will do everybody's laundry. I want you to think right now in your laundry room, how many kinds of detergents do you have? Do you have one for the babies and then one for your whites and then do you have one for your colors and then one for your microfiber and then one for the guy's dirty clothes? Some people do. I'm here to share with you guys tonight that very simply, um, I just take, cook a scoop of our detergent. You know, I wasn't crazy about the um, powder detergent either, you guys, but look, I put it in a container where I can just flip it out and this is how much you're going to use of detergent. I sprinkle that in or I put it in a jar or bowl. 
it's easy way to handle the detergent when it's powder. Typically, I have a spoon in there. I don't know what happened to the spoon. I think I carried a spoonful of it to my kitchen the other day, and it never made it back here. But when you take our microfiber or detergent and you soak it, I'm just going to show you. Here's a lipstick stain, right? Who's washing their mask every day? Here's a really quick way to wash your mask. It's a water detergent or detergent that has no fillers or dyes, so it's super clear. Here's how you wash your mask. Seriously. And our microfiber, then I would go to the sink and rinse it, okay? I'm actually just going to, like, go over top of this bowl now. There's something special in this bowl. You guys, just wait. Um, I'm just squeezing this out. Now I would take this and rinse this mask out. And let's just see. Oh, my gosh. Look at. Did you see me even agitate that? Not at all. The lipstick's gone. And this was, like, the one I wore all day yesterday. And what I like about the, um, the mask um, and our microfiber is that it dries really quickly because of those finger like projections they just whoosh, air dry really fast and easy so there's been times where I hadn't rinsed my mask till I left for work and by the time I get to work it's actually dry so um, on the note of mask two for one yet this uh, week easy way to clean them but oh, honestly there's a little bit of gungeon there now here's something else if by the end of this you have never tried the Norex um, Ultra Power Plus, and you'd like to get your sample, we will tell you how. This, you guys, is the inserts of a bra because the whole bra wouldn't fit in here. If you have bras, I want you to go and grab your bras. If you've got the detergent, I want you to go try this, okay? So basically, just some water and detergent, and this can be after you washed it. Um, you will see, you take any of your clothing, you will see that um, you will get a lot of gunge out of the. Oh, Guys, can you can't see? Oh yes, you can. Can you see that yummy dirt? This was clean bra pads, right? Ooh ooh ooh. Um, if you want to whiten your whites, guarantee you don't need um, no oxy clean. Oops, not supposed to say that. You don't need any other products to use our microfiber detergent. Sorry, why do I call it microfiber detergent? It's the UPP, and um, it's the Ultra Power Plus. I'm shocked. I'm my my 10 minute timer hasn't gone off. Am I doing okay, you guys? Okay, so <laughs> UPP is um, Ultra Power Plus. It's made right here in Canada. And um, I'm going to bring on the consult, um, other consultants a little bit later about what they like to use. Maybe they have a tip on what they use this uh, detergent for because it can be used for so many scenarios. Um, who would like to see my laundry room now? Okay. We are going to, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of my laundry room. Well, maybe it doesn't always look like this, but <laughs> essentially I have a place that I collect all my microfiber. Truth be known, it's a cookie jar. It's an old cookie jar, wasn't being used, and I just stuck in um, a netted little bag. Okay, so I don't know if you have one of these. And as I'm using a kitchen cloth um, throughout the week, it just goes in this little bucket here. And so you can get a plastic um, container, like maybe an old ice cream pail or something that you can reuse. And as I'm using them, I will uh, rinse them out and hang them up to dry and try to get as much life out of them as I can. But then I will just throw them in here. And at the end of the week, I'll collect all my microfiber cloth. And it doesn't matter to me if it's a face cloth or a kitchen cloth, but if it matters to you, then divide your loads. You can throw it in with pillowcases. Yeah, did you know we had pillowcases? But you can throw it in with t-shirts, pillowcases, anything that is um, non-linty, right? Then I go here to my laundry dish dishwasher. <laughs> this, see, anybody can do this job, you guys. This is my washing machine. And this is where I put my soap. So some people are asking, where do I put the powder soap? And right here, this little thing is sometimes down or out. You just need to have that out. Can you see that? So that's a little plastic thing. The water swooshes in here. I literally take one, half a scoop or one teaspoon. This is how much I take. My hand is wet and my computer is slipping. And I pour that in there. And then I just wash my microfiber regular wash cycle you don't even have to use hot but if they're dirtier because I've done some like dirtier jobs I will add more and then one more thing that I sometimes add to um, clothing that smells a little stronger like from the barns or from nursing I love this odor eliminator so in the comments below let me know do you like your wash to smell all right I know we all do but the new wash is going to be clean without smell 
and but this odor eliminator has is a crisp linen scent it smells like i don't know just fresh linen is what it smells like i put that in the fabric softener area okay right there about that much is all that I need, one cap full, and it just takes those extra smells away, and yet it's not overpowering, and it's all natural and can go on your skin. And this replaces dryer sheets. So I also want to point out, Norwex is very conscientious about the environment. So they've actually reclaimed plastic um, and have put it into their packaging, so that's why you'll see this ocean-bound plastic. Super, super cool. So if you are liking smells in your laundry that is one of your options and um, I'm going to turn it over to Rihanna pretty soon here to tell you about dryer balls but before I do that I got to take you down to my washing machine okay some of you were saying you're not doing this front end loading machine because it gets smelly and gungy okay so the reason it does is because residue left behind from your washing machines coats your machines and reduces its lifetime seriously we're going on 10 years with this unit i'm hoping it'll go another 10 year maybe uh you guys can relate to that but i don't get a smell but my secret is is i don't close the door all the way and the other secret is as i wipe this out once in a while okay so i love our detergent because i don't have that smell i have heard lots and lots of complaints about it and in fact when some people ask me um, how do you get rid of that smell? The first thing I'll say is take some of the detergent, probably a full scoop, and just run your machine empty. Have you guys ever done that? Have you ever ran your machine just empty and cleaned it out? It's an awesome way to do it. Okay, Rihanna's saying it's time up. Yeah. Rihanna, who is our prize draw winners? Winner, one winner. For one winner for, uh, the, for the on time draw? Not yet on time. They have to stay to the end, but for whoever's oh. engaging and chatting along here. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you bet. I have uh, Sylvia Ooh, on here. Sylvia. All right. Yeah. So um, just for following along, Sylvia, you're going to get yourself a free mask. I figure that we need to, we, should, we all could use a free mask. So you can, uh, when you get your prize form to fill out later, you can uh, just put in their mask. Okay. Congratulations, Sylvia. Um, one more thing. I'm going to move right to my dryer now. And um, Rihanna. You want to take it away? Yes. She's going to talk about her dryer. Well, um, I'm not going to take you into my laundry room because we are going to be renovating our laundry room um, and bathroom area. So it's kind of a disaster right now. But I will, um, I did want to talk about the dryer balls because uh, you were um, chatting about, uh, you know, adding scent to your laundry and some people, you know, they want to avoid static cling and that sort of thing. And these little dryer Dryer balls are the ticket. So I actually uh, was able to get the um, the ones from the spring catalog with the little patterns on them, and they are absolutely adorable. And you know what I really love about the Norwex uh, dryer balls is that they're very heavy and very substantial. And the nice thing about them is that you can add a little bit of essential oil to it if you would like a little bit of scent to your to your laundry. How these work is they actually, you, you want to put in at least three, but up to six or eight of these balls in your laundry is ideal. Basically, how we get static in our laundry is by over drying and having too much friction in our clothes while it's in the hot cycle of drying. And so what the dryer balls do is they... Uh, speed up that drying time a little bit by adding pockets of um, pockets of air basically to allow more room for air to flow through your laundry. Now an important thing to remember is not to over dry your laundry. So if you're opening it up and things are staticky then 
you're going to want to decrease your time by a little bit. Um, and I have found that that is just the miracle. I don't have static cling and uh, my laundry dries, it, you know, at least 15 minutes um, shorter than a regular long dryer time. So um, these are great and I love them. I use them. I have a uh, Norwex brand and I do have other brands as well and I mix them all together and I love them. They really work and now we're not putting um, using dryer sheets. So dryer sheets are coating our fabrics in highly concentrated, high smelling um, you know, chemicals and this is now avoiding it uh, uh, and we can like I said, add the little bit of essential oils and um, and we can have a little fresh scent in our laundry if we want to still. And yes, uh, the filter, um, the, the dryer sheets really coat our filters and the insides of our, um, the insides of our dryers and um and stuff like that as well so um definitely it'll take some time for your laundry to um to adjust to having uh these dryer balls and and getting that going for you i think rena is showing us here how she uses the um enviro wand to clean out her lint trap in her um in her dryer which is an awesome idea i love 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 it so again all different products uh in that we can use in our laundry room it's just awesome thank you rihanna that was terrific and yes if you didn't know this trick you should go and try it no vacuum and it pulls it out way better mine's actually pretty clean because you'll also find with our detergent it doesn't make our clothes as linty if that makes sense because we don't have a lot of fillers in there that are like eating away at our clothes basically. So I find I have hardly any lint. Plus I don't have a lot of linty um, stuff, I guess, cause I'm always just using the microfiber. So that's one bonus as well. If there's any other consultants on here right now that have any other testimonies of what they like about the detergent or anything, now would be a good time to jump in. Cause I'm going to move to my bathroom to show you how I use laundry detergent in my bathroom. Any other takers out there? I hope you guys are learning some things as we go. And if, you're, um, if you've never tried some of these things, I encourage you to try them before. Before I leave the laundry room, I do want to make mention of the things that I have in here because I can't move everything at once. Our laundry detergent, um, people are taking it and diluting it into a forever water bottle. This can be your new cleaner. I really don't even use a lot of cleaners. This is about the only one. But diluting it... I don't know if anybody knows the ratio offhand. You put it in a sprayer bottle, it, it just is like your little grease puller. I'm actually going to take you next door into the bathroom and show you how some of that works. But before I do, I have a vase here of hot water, and I want to dispel a myth, okay? Now, a long time ago, when Norwich first started out, people were taking their cloths and boiling them. I've even heard people saying they were microwaving them. Don't do that because the harsh... Boiling hot water, never, never microwave. <laughs> Shouldn't even have given you that idea. But um, you want to add some nice hot water from the tap or maybe from a tea kettle, just nice and hot, to do a deep clean on your cloth. Okay, so we're going to turn to now a deep clean the microfiber booster. Hands up if you've used this microfiber booster. Now, I just told you you can use our detergent for cleaning your cloths. And yes, you can. However, sometimes our cloths have done such dirty jobs, they just need to clean after a while, right? So we wash them and we put them in the dryer. Point taken there. Make sure you put your microfiber in the dryer. It perks up um, the fibers, especially like your dusting mitts and stuff like that. But when your kitchen cloths are starting to um, get a smell and stuff, you need to get in there and soak them in some hot water and our microfiber booster, okay? Now the booster is... Put this on the top of your lids, you guys. If you don't want people to use too much detergent, half a teaspoon, right right on your containers, it'll remind people. This one, to me, has a little bit of a citrus um, smell to it, but putting it in, in the hot water, 
Ooh, that's hot. Um, the booster is something that you should do maybe once a month when you do a deep clean of your cloths, especially the ones you use over and over. I don't know about you, but some people tend to use like one or two cloths for the whole week, which is great because that's less laundry, right? But you'll, oh, it soaked up all the water. <laughs> Super absorbent. But you would soak this um, once a month and you would soak it and give it a deep clean. And here's a tip. Soak in your kitchen sink shines it beautifully soak in any sink or place you need to clean out beautiful clean so you can get like double clean but the microfiber booster is to just remove that extra dirt grime and grease it just has more enzyme activity to pull out all that extra dirt because remember it's picking up so much so when we do a deep clean and rinse them out and keep doing it till the water is clear i'm not going to get any water in here um well there's a little bit of brownness and there's even a few chunks in there and these are clean cloths. So I would do this deep clean and I would throw it out and I would add more repeat until it was clear water and then still throw it in with my laundry. Does that make sense? Any questions there? Okay. Anybody have want to talk about their favorite use of the laundry detergent? Not sure who's here. There's somebody up here. All right. How are we doing for time, Rihanna? We're at the 20 minute mark. So minute mark okay well you know one of the ways I am just gonna get settled here in my bathroom <laughs> sorry guys um, I want you to keep commenting below um, any cleaning job you can think of that you would use the microfiber oh, I'm calling it microfiber cleaner all night long but the ultra power <laughs> plus detergent right in fact um, I'm gonna throw it out there right now. If you guys want to be able to share your secret, your secret powder detergent that you use or that your love of Norwex, if you know people that you wanna introduce it to, I am actually gonna give away, I only have two bags of detergent, I'm gonna give away two bags of detergent for the first two people who wanna book a party. And that just means come back next week where you're gonna talk about Norwex in the kitchen. We have some things, um, ideas for uh, sustainable fall dinner solutions, things that you can use in your kitchen. Each week we come here and you simply got to bring five to 10 people, come in and um, sh introduce them to Norwex. Here are experiences from us other consultants and the first um, people to comment here or and by the end, by midnight tomorrow night, first two people will get a bag of detergent free. How does that sound? And it's a full bag, not just half a bag. I didn't even mention that it does 100 loads. This is the sample bag available for $8 when you spend $110 this, this, this month. It's almost the end of the month, hey guys? All right, um, I see some great comments. You guys are doing super, super cool. But now it's time to share with you some other cleaning jobs. Oh, I moved my detergent. Now look here, you guys. Yeah, we're in the bathtub. Now, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but um, Dora, uh, Dora, Margaret posted how to clean your screens with the lint mitt. Just wet it and wipe it. That's a super good tip, and I'm glad she posted that. Because a lot of times, people are washing their screens in the tub, right? We're telling you don't have to do that. But sometimes you have jobs you might want to th throw in the tub. And I've been saving these all week. Dale's like, when are you going to clean this stuff? It's like, I'll clean it when I'm demoing. I love that I get to work and demo, clean my house at the same time. Who knows what this is? Whoop, whoop. This is from a, anybody know what this is? Comment below. What do you think this is? Should play one of those games. Can you guess what this is? Okay, I'm just holding it and my fingers are getting greasy, greasy, greasy because it's the grease filter from in my kitchen, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw it in the tub. You might want to do that in your kitchen sink, but you know, I can do it right here. And I have some nice warm water in there and I'm just going to sprinkle the detergent in there. I have this lovely, lovely Rubbermaid. Anybody ever have these? What are some really dirty jobs that you get? Like, I don't know what was in this thing, but my first go-to cleaner is our detergent, okay? How about some uh, gym bags, you guys? Gym bags, lunch bags, do they get kind of yucky? This one's been laying in the water, but I'm just gonna throw my dirty jobs in here and soak them in some of their detergent. Sometimes when I have extra, Mop pads, I don't want to do a nice deep clean. It's detergent all the way. My boys ran out their house. You guys, blinds that you can take out that are plastic, put them in your tub. I mean, first try the, the mitt, but sometimes, you know, they have so much grease, you're gonna wanna use our detergent. It pulls the grease. All right. So these are soaking in the tub. 
I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to make sure I have enough. You know, you're going to want probably about a, what do you call it, a scoop full for this because, you know, you have a lot of water. But if you want in on our, a sample of our detergent or to try this, or if you've never tried this at home, take this and soak it. You need about five minutes to soak it. But if you'd like a sample of our detergent, and you want to be in our laundry detergent challenge, you, we will send you a sample of detergent in the mail, okay? We'll send you the detergent, a sample of the detergent, and you're just going to agree to going in a messenger group where we're, it's only going to be like seven days in this messenger group, and we're going to give you a challenge each day, and you're just going to post your challenges, how you tried it, what you, your results were, pictures, whatever you want. So that's our long, UPP laundry detergent challenge. At the end of the show, you can tell us if that you want in on the challenge and you agree to just be in a messenger group for one week. We'll mail it out to you. Next week we'll start, and then you'll come back and tell us what you thought. All right, so in case you don't believe my demo here in the tub, you'll see it happening. I am going to post for you guys. This is really embarrassing, but this is real life. Whose shower curtain starts to look like this, right? It's got a lot of stuff on there. I am going to, when I'm done with this, soak it in my tub. So I get all my dirty jobs and I soak them all together. And that will come out clean, I hope. And I will show you a picture before and after. And then you'll see the magic of our laundry detergent. If it doesn't work, which I'm pretty sure it will, that's when you can add the microfiber booster as well. Um, I, tend I have to a just question. Sure. Uh, Brenda has a question actually. She says um, she needs some kitchen help. My husband won't let me get rid of uh, steel wool for our stainless steel pots, etc. I hate them. Leaves fragments around in the sink. What do I replace them with? Excellent question, Brenda. And this brings us to come to our live next week with a few of your friends and we will answer those or show you what we use, but I don't have it with me. Um, the answer would be our what do you call them? Pot scrubbers, spiry sponges, no, spearnets, spearnets. They're called spearnets. See, anybody could do this job. And like Darla's saying, the paste, okay? So we will clean pots and pans. Any of you consultants out there who want to demo cleaning pots and pans with the pot scrubber and cleaning paste, this would be great for Brenda to come back next week um, and, and see it in action. So very, very good. Um, I see other people giving comments too. Um. That just about wraps it up. I think we're, holy cow, we might almost be on time today, Rihanna. What do you think of that? Yeah, we're there. We're getting there. If you consultants have any other suggestions for uh, the laundry detergent, um, or you want to join our challenge as well, just to learn a little bit more about it, um, you are welcome to join in the challenge as well. All right, on time draw. Now, I don't know how um, we didn't set up a wheel for this tonight. So you're going to have to trust Rihanna that she likes, she has to pick somebody who said on time. So hopefully you guys said that at the beginning. And um, Rihanna's going to, I don't know if she's putting them on a wheel or a piece of paper. She's, she's my go-to this tonight for prize draws. Yeah, and I can't even scroll up. So I'm glad I wrote down a name earlier. Okay, so um, this is how we're going to wrap up. Don't forget that Master on Sale and the Cute Little Hedgehog. And um, anybody, Rihanna's also going to tell us who won the prize draw will win um, a mask as well. So any prize winners tonight are winning a mask, but the on-time draw winner is going to win, um, uh oh I left it in the other room. <laughs> The on-time prize draw winner is always a uh, limited edition item. So this is what they're going to get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The lovely Very travel nice. covers. Uh, I know, the body cloth, right? So um, that's what the um, on-time draw winner is. So, Rihanna, I'm going to let you take it away and let us know. You Thank you all for being here. You bet. So I have, uh, for the on-time draw tonight, I have Rebecca. Woohoo! Rebecca, this um, limited edition body cloth, I take it everywhere with me. You will not be disappointed. And our back lock will be amazing. Okay, and I think there's one more for the game before the show. You bet. So for the game, uh, we have Noelle. 
Ooh. Okay, that was yeah. We already announced that, or didn't we? No, no, we didn't. No, uh, the la the other one was Sylvia. <laughs> All right, good job, you guys. Thank you for um, being here, and we will post the prize draws up above. And you, of course, you have to text us the the prize, the buzzword, um, to claim your prize. But for any of you guys who want to be in the challenge, you also are going to type in buzz, and you're going to put in what did you win challenge. And then you're going to get your free laundry detergent sample sent to you. By saying you want to win the challenge, you're going to get a package in the mail from your consultant. And um, then we're going to put you in a group messenger chat as explained, okay? And if anybody wants to come back next week with their friends, free bag of detergent up for grabs and we're in the kitchen. Any more questions? All right, so I apologize if I missed anybody or um, if there's any consultants here that want to give a testimony. I know this is a little bit different. We are on actually a messenger chat, so hopefully everybody gets to see it. And I thank you all, all for your time. I know your time is precious and I appreciate it. So anything else? Okay, that's it. I think we're good. Good night and we'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you. See you. Bye.